Okay, it's time to do a quick comparison between new Yamaha Montage M8X with four other powerful contenders on the market, including the Roland Phantom 8, Coswell K2700, the original Yamaha Montage, and the Korg Nautilus in 88 key version with the aftertouch. Let's do some quick numbers. The Roland Phantom, which I love a lot, and I own two of them, has three sound engines. One is V Piano sound engine uh, with unlimited polyphony. Then you have Z Core, and then you have Supernatural for sampling voices. The original Yamaha Montage has 256 of notes of polyphony, has two sound engines including AWM2, which is the best sampling sound engines ever, and FMX. Then you have Korg Nautilus with nine sound engines. Doesn't mean that since we have nine sound engines, this machine has better sound quality. Well, it's debatable, but I really like the piano voices on this one, um, especially because you can design your own piano. You can grab um, like the lid and adjust it to your desirable. The same thing with Roland Phantom. And the Roland Phantom, uh, when you choose any sound from uh, Wii Piano, you can design your own piano. You can adjust the lid opening, you can adjust the string resonance, damper resonance, cabinet resonance. You don't have these features neither on the original Yamaha Montage or the new Yamaha Montage, but it doesn't mean the pianos are bad, especially on the new Yamaha Montage. We have um, some new piano sounds, which are incredible. The CFX piano, for instance, when you choose it on the new Yamaha Montage, has even better voice than the original one, because according to Yamaha, all the circuitries under the hood are new. And because of that, all the sounds have better quality, of course. On the new Yamaha Montage, we have three sound engines, AWM2, FMX and ANX, it, which is awesome. And of course, on the new one, you have 400 notes of polyphony, you have extended memory, and you have polyphony aftertouch. None of these other machines have polyphony aftertouch. They all have just a channel aftertouch. Then you have Coswell. The Coswell has 256 of notes of polyphony. The incredible thing that the Coswell has, you can layer up to 32 sounds per timbrel. So you can stack up up to 16 sounds and each sounds could have up to 32 layers. And that's why you get very incredible sounds when it comes to pad voices or synth voices. The pianos are okay. I mean, they're nice. I don't say they're bad by any means. Uh, but uh, my relation with this Coswell, which I own for five days, is a kind of love and hate situation, is merely because of the workflow. It is a very nice machine, has a very good quality, build quality is good. It's not as good as the Yamaha or Roland because if, for instance, if I grab any of these faders, they're very smooth. Whereas the faders on this one are kind of grainy when you touch them. Um, the main problem that I have with this machine in order to go to settings, there is no touch screen. There's a very small screen here. So in order to go to any settings, you have to use this soft pads things like uh, splitting or layering of course are easy but if you want to design a sound um, it's gonna be really pain in the neck it's because of the workflow but you can uh, you know choose your sound category here easily the sequencer is easy to work with you have a nice arpeggio you have this huge ribbon controller um, overall I like it I guess I mean and you have too many faders and knobs to control. Um, and you have tight sensitive pads here. Um, as I said, if the only problem is just the workflow on this one and not having the touch screen, which makes it a little bit complicated. But if you get used to it, you can, you can definitely work with this. At this price point, the Direct competitor to this machine will be the Korg Nautilus with the aftertouch, which I like. I, I believe the Korg Nautilus has a slightly better qu uh, build quality. It's made in Japan, and it's definitely nicer because of the wood panels that you have. 
um, and you have a touch screen. So when you compare this, um, compare these two together, there are some areas that the Cord Nautilus has some edge, including having this uh, beautiful and large screen. And there are some areas that the Corsair is better because um, you have all those faders and knobs and the arpeggio is very good. The only problem that I have with the Korg uh, Kronos, uh, Korg Nautilus is, it, it's nice, it's a successor to the iconic Kronos. The startup time is two minutes. That's, that's too slow. But when it, when, it, when it starts up, it's pretty fast and responsive to touch. So the startup is same as Core Kronos. But keep that in mind, this is based on the Core Kronos and the Kronos was based on Core Goasis. So under the hood, they have, um, it has a very old gene. So you have, according to Core, it takes long because it has to upload too many samples. I don't know. But um, overall, after it starts up, it's a fast and nice machine. And then we come to this incredible Roland Phantom. What I like about the Roland Phantom, it has this imposing look, especially in ADA key version. It's sturdy, it's nice, it's powerful. The screen is slightly better even than the Yamaha Montage, the new one, because you have four BMC microchips. So it's faster, a little bit better. Uh, as far as the workflow, both Roland Phantom and new Yamaha Montage almost close to each other because right now Yamaha Montage has these encoded knobs under the screen. You have bi-directional screen. That means anything that you have here, you can push shift and jump and you get the same thing here or vice versa. This is a nice thing now, you have two shift buttons. Um, so any sound that you choose, you can easily control on this screen or you can have all the parameters transferred to this screen. I really love this machine. It's incredible. There is nothing as good as this on the market by far, I guess. Um, so one of the things that I like about the, just the Rolling Phantom that you don't find on the Yamaha Montage is you can download the sound expansions for all the old uh, Roland products, including Jupiter, Juno, SH-101, and JX-8P. And you also have these uh, Enzyme expansions, which, which is a V-table uh, sound designing. And it has a lot of capabilities. You can even draw your uh, wave or anything. So it, it's nice having this, and it is a color-coded of course, um, if you choose any sound, if I choose like a, any sounds from the enzyme, the knob's gonna be purple. If I choose a different category, like a SH101, the knob's gonna be gray, and uh, Jupiter is gonna be green, Juno 106 is gonna be red, and, and uh, you see everything changes, and if, of course, when you choose a parameter, you're gonna have a new interface here, which the, the color is gonna match up to that products. So the only thing that I like better on the Roland Phantom by far in comparison with the Yamaha Montage is um, any parameters that you wanna change, cut a filter or whatever, you can use either the knob and you, or you can grab it here on the screen. On, um, unfortunately on the Yamaha Montage, you don't have that feature, um, you can, Let's say choose a, a sound engine. It says synth lead, for instance, this one. Let me see the performance. Okay, if I change any parameter here, first of all, it's color coded. So if I choose any sound from an FMX engine, uh, my knobs or fade is gonna change color and the same thing from ANX. So it's the same as and it's color coding that you have on the <coughs> Roland Phantom. Uh, one of the other things is when you choose a sound, and um, let's bring it here, if you wanna go and um, go to the mixing and go to the C uh, equalizer, of course, you can edit your equalizer easily here. So I can choose my equalizer band and adjust it here. Unfortunately, I cannot grab it here um, like the one that I can do on the Roland Phantom. As I said, on the Roland Phantom, you can use either the knob or you can grab your wave here. 
Um, the equalizer on this one, of course, is different. You go to the master FX and you choose your frequency here and you can adjust it here. I believe the fastest and easiest equalizer that you find is on set list in the uh, Korg Nautilus because you, it's right here. You choose your frequency and that's it. Voila. You cannot still grab it here, but very easy to. Um, control and of course if you want to do the same thing on Coswell you have to go through that uh, very complicated menu and everything as I said is gonna be really hard um, and you have to uh, read those small parameters one of the other things about the Coswell that you have to keep that in mind um, when you use this um, especially on stage you need to have a good source of light because it's too dark, it's not, it doesn't have that much of backlit like you find on the Roland Phantom or Yamaha Montage as you see in this um, large room with a lot of uh, natural light um, because my Roland Phantom casting a shadow over this um, you cannot even easily read this stuff so definitely keep that in mind if um, you play in this machine in a very dark room you definitely need to have some sort of um, light shining on this one otherwise it's not going to be easy to work with um, so this is by far one of the features on this one that I like both Yamaha Montage and uh, Roland Phantom and the knobs have up to 1023 um, steps of resolution very very impressively good and so it's that means all the knobs are very precise on the Roland Phantom these knobs are adaptive so if you turn it fast then it it learns that you have to change the parameters fast if you turn it slowly as you see it's gonna be precise but if I turn it fast then yeah so it's an adaptive one that's the feature that you don't find on the Yamaha Montage but having two screens is nice so if you choose any mm, any voice that um, uh, you can change the parameters here of course you have to wait um, it, for this uh, button to light up but you just can have a page jump and have this all the parameters here or if I change any parameter either by numerics or by these knobs here let's see if I come to the effects and I want to have this same thing here you have two shift buttons to use you can push the shift and page jump and let's see if I go to the master effects main gain and you can get the same parameters here so it's bi-directional page which is very nice um, and I like it um, so by far I think the key bit wise the best key bit that I've seen ever is the Yamaha Montage M8 because before this I was a fan of PH50 key bit on the Yamaha on the Roland Phantom this one is the best it's identical to a real piano but right now this new GEX keybed by the Yamaha Montage M8X is the best I guess because you can have better and easier re repetition it has a better repetition and you can still uh, feel the way to it but it's easier to play um, the keybed on this one uh, on the course well is a Fatar and I'm not a fan of Fatar keybed it's okay but these corners are too sharp I mean if you touch it I mean it's too sharp I mean um, and the keep it on the cork not loss is good it's good I will, it's very identical to the key it on the original Yamaha montage now I would say they both are pretty much pretty much the same then it comes to the sequencer. The sequencer on the Coswell, of course, has a so you can um, um, layer up to 16 tracks and it's a linear sequencer. You can record here. The sequencer on the Yamaha Montage M8X is a linear one, and but it's far better than the one that we had on the old one. But I'm sure everybody and um, most of you guys gonna use your Cubase to record this stuff. And and the uh, sequencer on the Roland Phantom of course it's a Ableton like pattern sequencer which I like to work with and um, this is the only sequencer that I'm probably I'm going to use if I'm going to use um, on a keyboard uh, because you can break down your song and you can just break it down to different patterns and group them together and one of the good features that the uh, Roland Phantom had it was a um, DAW control that you could 
um, easily get connect to your Ableton and you have the same DAW control DAW remote here now that you can easily jump to your uh, DAW so it's a very impressive machine now uh, they are like the ribbon control that has been divided to three you can divide it up to three sections now you have um, drawbars for your organ but it's a weird number it's like eight drawbars instead of having like a nine uh, but at least you have some drawers for your um, um, or real organs, which is a very good one. The, the screen hasn't changed in terms of uh, um, resolution and quality is pretty much the same as the old one. And you have that beautiful super knob, of course. So I'm sure this, um, as I said, this by far is the best synthesizer on the market if you are searching um, and you were planning to purchase a new uh, synthesizer or um, uh, replace your old one, you buy the Montage, especially if you buy the M8, M8X one, uh, you won't regret it. And Yamaha gonna release the uh, VSD version of it next year that you can download when you purchase this. Um, I can tell you definitely this could be one of those synthesizers that after decades people still want to talk about it and want to collect it because you have four iconic synthesizer under one hood you have yamaha cs80 which was the one that had a polyphonic aftertouch you have a dx7 of course because you have fmx sound engine then you have original yamaha montage here and you also have yamaha anx uh, the analog synthesizer so all iconic beautiful lovely synthesizer under one hood of course with new technology better interface this is the machine that you need to have go ahead and buy it and don't even um, think about that this might be overpriced in terms of price this is a very good keyboard i bought it at three thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars the reason that i got a discount because i originally had an order with the sweetwater for a yamaha montage in white but like a two and a half months ago they called me they said and they told me that um, since the Yamaha has discontinued the Yamaha Montage, if you keep your order, we can give you the new one at the same price of the old one. And that's why I got this at the discounted price. I'm assuming the Yamaha going to drop the price on this product in a year. So you can buy this around $3,999. Um, there were only a few available to purchase. I know if you go to a Sweetwater website or any other vendor, it's on back order now. So technically, I guess it might take like a year for you to purchase this readily. But if you want to put an order, we can put an order and probably you get it in a few months. Um, at this point, I think I'm not going to use the old Yamaha montage that I had that much, even though this one, um, I purchased it last, last year, last September, and it's in a mint condition. Um, so I'm going to keep it for now, but in a year or any time that the Yamaha release one, this one in a new color, like a white or so, I'm gonna replace my old one, of course. Um, the only thing that I didn't like about the new Yamaha Montage, the M8, was this red logo. Of course, it's a matter of preference, but eventually it might grow on me. Uh, last time I had the problem to find the sounds or uh, all the live sets from the original Yamaha Montage, and I thought this m doesn't have those. But right now, it, um, I know they are in here, but the category search has been changed. And the reason I couldn't find those is uh, because I wasn't familiar to how to find this stuff. So when you go to here, you have to unclick the main. If you click the main or um, on the attribute section, if you click here, like choose ANX or whatever, you won't find anything from the old Yamaha montage. But right now, I have all my all of my model expansions in, installed here. Like I have FM experience and they're all here. Montage expanded, everything here. So any sound, any performances, any expansion that you had on the old one is um, is uh, all the expansions are compatible with this and any sound or live set that you had from the old Yamaha montage is here. Um, the unit has uh, uh, from the factory has like 16 pages of presets and these 16s are beautiful some of them are really nice and um, the 
synth section has been divided to three sections now ANX, FMX, and hybrid synths. But these performances, some of them, especially the motion control or the one for the cinematic, are awesome, beautiful. Definitely purchase this, you won't regret it. This is the best synthesizer of all time. At the end of the day, what you need to keep in mind is you can buy any of these machines, take it home, and be happy because these are all great synthesizer workstations. They are all designed by great brands like Yamaha or Roland, Cork, or even Coswell uh, for you guys to play and enjoy with it. They all have different uh, capabilities because, of course, each manufacturer tries to make different products to target different type of consumers. But for sure, the new Yamaha Montage nailed it. It's top of the line, better than anybody else, and far better than the old Yamaha Montage. As I said, it doesn't mean the old original Yamaha Montage is bad. It's still iconic, and it's already a vintage. So you may even want to keep it and just buy the new one and add to your uh, collections. Um, but um, that's, that's going to wrap up my whole review here. Um, if you had any comments or questions, just please uh, drop down here. I will try to answer those. Thanks for watching this video. Until the next video, bye.